welcome to Life in Envelopes. This YouTube channel is all about budgeting, paying off debt, and retiring early. So if that is something that you would like to hear more about, then please subscribe to my channel. This is my first YouTube video on this channel. So I will be doing, I will be showing you how I set up my budget binder for the year 2000. <laughs> it is 2020. Holy shamoly, I'm old. Here are the supplies that I will be using to set up my budget binder for the year 2020. Yes, it is the year 2020. <laughs> In the intro, when I was saying that, I thought there's no way it's the year 2020. Like, am I on Star Trek? Like, what's going on? But no, we really are in the year 2020. Whew. Okay, so um, some of these items I purchased and some of them I created. Anything that I purchased, I will put a link to it in the description box below. This first sheet is um, the Paycheck Bill Tracker, and it's by The Budget Mom. And I will put a link to her website. You actually have to buy it at her website. This here is um, sinking funds. I created this document. So I made one for each month. Now, Budget Mom, the, the Budget Mom, um, does have a sinking funds. I think she calls it something different, but she does have a sinking funds document. It just didn't fit my needs, so I needed to create something for myself. And then this is also from the Budget Mom. Where did my money go? And you can buy this on her website. Um, this I believe was when I bought it today, which was which is, I believe it's January thirty first. <laughs> Um, it was four dollars. I think it was on sale, and this was was on sale for two dollars. I don't know if they're always on sale or I don't know. It was my first time using her website, and then this here is a monthly expense tracker, which I ended up creating. She has one on her website, and there are there are tons on Etsy, but nothing that really fit my needs. So I created my own document. Um, after I made this, I realized I went back and looked at. I've never done this before. I've never written down my monthly expenses on paper. I've done everything online. So I went back and looked at last month, all my expenses, um, and I realized that's not enough lines there. So I did create a second sheet with more lines for each month. Um, but I did keep the category totals in the front so that I could see it right up front what was what's happening. This here is for my debt snowball. And I'm gonna be tackling one debt at a time. And this is for the first one. And this is a, something I bought off of Etsy. I'm sorry, I don't remember her name right now, the person who created this product, but I will put a link to this below in the description box. It comes with two sheets. I think I paid $1.75 for these. So there's a jar and then there's a grid where you can keep track of everything. Um, one thing I, I was a little disappointed with, is I love the jar. But the lines, if you can see, they're not solid all the way across. And in fact, they're actually showing up darker here on camera than they are in real life. They're pretty light. So I think I'm going to go through with a ruler and a pen or a marker and make the lines darker on this. This is a binder that I got from Staples. And what I like about it is it has the three ring off to one side. So the papers will lay flat and it has this extra rubber on the edge here and here and um, my goal is to use this binder for many years because I really don't like spending money these days so when I buy something I'm trying to think of it as an investment and something that I will use for a long time these are inserts which are also from Staples and they're just the months of the year and then I bought a ruler three hole punch <laughs> a three hole punch so I'm going to put this all together and then show you what it looks like once it's put all together.
why it took me so long to get back to you is I wanted to put a few numbers in here just to, so you could see what the the budget um, notebook is going to look like in use and uh, I, I ran into some snags and I tried to figure things out and it just took a long time so that's why it took me so long actually putting the notebook together took less than five minutes so let me show you how I set it up first I put my debt payoff um, my snowball payoff here in the front and the first loan that we're going to be paying off is six thousand seven hundred and five dollars now I got a little excited and I thought I had already reached my first goal of six thousand three fifty but I actually had not reached that goal yet I'm only I'm still at six thousand four hundred and fifty six so I'm not quite there so once I get there I won't get to color that and I'll have to wait till I get to six thousand before I color in the next one so I have that right up front because that is my priority right now. Um, if I have any extra money at the end of the month, it goes straight towards this. My goal is to get this paid off by August. Um, right now, we don't have health insurance for our sons. And if I can get this loan paid off, that monthly payment just about almost covers the cost of health insurance for my sons every month. So then I could insure my sons, which is... I, as you can imagine, it's extremely stressful not having health insurance from our kids. Okay, so um, this is the January paycheck bill tracker. This was really fun to fill out, except for that I was supposed to have an extra $967 at the end of the month. And, you know, if I think if I had been doing this along the, along the way, I would have been really aware of what was happening and I wouldn't have just spent an extra $967. But that's not what happened. Um, hopefully in February, because that money just disappeared. That got spent. So hopefully in February, I will do a much better job because I'll be tracking along the way. So here is the monthly expense tracker. Um, let me go back to this real quick. Sorry, guys. So I went through it kind of fast. I made so many mistakes trying to get this figured out. Um, and it's still a mess. That's why. I mean, it took me hours and it's still like things aren't adding up right and everything. So um, I went ahead and skipped this because I had such a hard time with that one. I thought I'm just going to wait till February and we'll, we have a good budget and figure that out. And sinking funds. Normally I'll write the starting balance and then I'll put some in, a certain amount in for first paycheck and second paycheck. And if anything comes out, I'll mark that down. But I thought I would just count my, these are my sinking fund envelopes and I thought um, I would just count how much was in each one to mark it as my ending balance so in February when I get to the sinking fund page I can just put this as my starting balance and we can go from there. 